Oh, I don't know what that is. Hi, I'm just getting ready. I got um very lightweight and I'm gonna use a pole and maybe a slider or um, if you don't have the sliders and you could use paper towels or a book. <laughs> I got to use it to, to, for movement, so it's fine. All right. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. You just think Cassie said, um, Okay, I'm ready. Let me get my workout. It seems to be easier said than done. <laughs> Let me find what I did with it. That's not it. Okay, let's start standing today. Um, we're gonna do some crisscross stuff, some across the body things. I'm gonna start with my one weight, small. Okay, so if you don't have it, it's not a big deal. Small or, or decent size. Um, you really don't want it to be above like a three, to be honest with you, okay? Because then it's more of a muscle building than a range of motion. So we're gonna bring it up and back. Two. There's so much of the day that we don't move enough in different directions. So today we're going to move it all in different directions. Five. Six. Six more. Five. Plus it'll serve as a warm up. Four. Three. Two. And one. We're going to go right into the other side. One. Two, three, four, five, six, halfway, six more. So what I'm working on right now is how to launch online. Um, it's been something I've been wanting to do, so it was good in motivation. I didn't know if I'd like it, and I love it. I absolutely love interacting with you after, during, last one, and one. Okay, we're going to come here into a slight open leg, arm down here. This arm's gonna come up and down to the middle. Two, down to the middle. Three, we want to maybe get to that point where we're stacking the shoulders. So you're getting a nice stretch in the side body here. Two more. Then the other side. Notice which one has more resistance. Three, four, five, six, seven, three more, three, two, and one. I forgot my water. I'm going to go get it real quick. I don't know why I always forget it. Okay, let's pick up that light weight again. 
We're gonna bring it across the body and back. Two, three, four, and five. Seven more. Seven, six, that was a good crack. Six, five, and four. Last three. Two and one. Let's move right to the other side. One, two. God, that feels good. Last night I was all bound up on this right side. I was telling the whatever class I was teaching. We went to bed and Bob worked on it. He's great at that. And then all of a sudden it just went crink, 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 crink. And I'm like so sore. But I've got the range of motion back. Three, two. And one. We're going to come diagonal here with the arm. Bring it up and across and back down. So just a different way that we're moving that shoulder joint. The shoulder joint has the potential for a lot of movements, but also the potential for a lot of injuries. Eight. Nine. Three more. Three, two, and one. Right over to the other side. One, two, three. So maybe for these where the arm is coming up, you're not putting weight in it, especially for the cancer rehabilitation. If you're sticky there, four more, four, Three, two, last one, one. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm all, oh, okay. Okay, we're going to step out either side. So we're going to do big step, bend, bring it back. So like that side lunge. But I want you to bend into it because we want to get that full movement. We want to get down as low as we can. Lateral is just as important as back and forth. Oh, feels good. I'll tell you that. One more time on this side. And we're going to come back up, open those legs again, and we're going to go back and forth here, okay? So we're going to bring it back, side to side. Really get into that glute, though, pushing it back, because we're talking range of motion. So we're looking for that big move, big move. One more each side. Okay, back to center. Feet are about hip distance apart. Right arm up, left down, stretch, pull, other side. So all the way over, back and forth. Really reaching towards the sky. Ooh, cracking shoulders and wrists. One more time each side. And done. No weight this time. We're going to bring this arm back and around. Two. Three. We don't need to have the weight in here. We want to get that nice full rotation in the shoulder. So let's try to stay with our whole body forward. And see what we can do here. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Now turn it around. Ooh, it's like cracky all the way. I'm going to go with this with my body. My body needs to come. Especially on this side today. It's that sticky side. Four. Five. Five more. Five. Four, 
three, two, and last one. Right into the other side, back. So let's keep that body forward. Try not to come with it too much. I'm gonna slow mine down and try to get the bigger range of motion. Five. Two more. Last one. Now turn it around. And if you need to come with it, come with it. Just a few more, five more, five, four, three, last two. All right, shake that out. Okay, we're gonna clasp those hands behind the back here. We're gonna come down into forward bend and then come up with bent knee. Okay, so we're coming down, forward bend. Let the arms come with us. Bend that knee, come on up using the core, okay? Here we go. Bend the knee, come up. Two, we're gonna do 10, eight more. Six more, my glasses are coming up. Five more. Four. Last three. Woo! I like this one. Three. Two more. And last one. Woo! Okay, I'm gonna take a slider. For those of you in my cancer rehabilitation class, you know, if you have a pole or something to hold on to, you might want it here because we're looking for that length. Kennedy's watching me. He's breaking from homework. Okay, so we've got the slider on our right foot. Let me bring it back. We're going to come down, bring it all the way back. We're going to go slow here because we're getting that range. We want to stretch this so as. Usually at the gym, we do this with a pole here so we can pull ourselves up. Five, five more. Four. Three, woo, good stretch, last two. And now we'll move into the other side. Get that nice low stance, bring it back, drag it back in. Two. Four. Five, five more. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're gonna put that aside and come down to the floor for the rest of it, or most of it anyway. 
We're going to start with just some bridges. So let's start there on our back. Feet are hip distance apart. Heels are as close to the tuchus as we can. Arms are by our sides. Today we're going to come up into that bridge, bring the arms back behind us because we're doing range of motion. Exhale, bring it down. Two. And three. We're pushing through those feet, opening up the front body. Four. And five. Six. So now we're halfway. We've got six more. Six more. Five. And four. Three. One more. And we're going to bring that tush down. Then we're going to come into a seated position. Wide um, straddle, basically. We've got our arms out here. We're going to come across and back up. Two, so really reach through that middle. Three, see if we can get past those toes, maybe on the outside, four. Eight. And nine. We're going to do six more. Six. Big reach. Five. Four. Three. Last two. And one. We're going to come back down to our backs. First, we're going to bring the knee in, bicycle, by holding it. Then we're going to actually bicycle. So for now, it's going to look like this. You can have your head down on the ground. Knee in. Trade. And back. Notice when you lay that one leg down, it's a nice psoas stretch, too. One more time each side. And let's bring those feet down to the earth and let those knees go back and forth. So before we move into the bicycle, we release the belly a little bit. Actually, before we do the bicycle, let's loosen up some more hips, break it up a little bit. So we've got that left knee bent, right leg extended. We're going to bring that leg up and down. Let's point it and externally rotate it. So it's going to stay externally rotated. And point it to. Five more, five, four, three, two, last one. Other side, here we go, external rotate and point. One, two, Five, five more. Five, four, three, two, last one. 
both feet back down on the ground. Let's open those legs a little wider than our hips and let those knees go back and forth. Start on the right, bring them back and over to the left. So you're getting a nice hip flexor stretch because your feet are wide. They're about two and a half feet apart, as wide as you can get them. One more time each side. Okay, and then we're going to bring those hands behind the head for old school bicycle, okay? Not so fast. We're going to do it a little bit slower. So it's going to be one, two, stop in the middle, three, four, five, six. Ten more. Nine. Eight. Seven. Last six. Four. Three. Two. And one. Bring those feet back down to the ground. Let the knees go knock knee here and just rest. Rest that belly. Did you just hear that? Yeah, belly's making some crazy noises. Okay, I gotta see what's next. Okay, so we did that leg lift with external rotation. Now we're gonna internally rotate the foot. So left knee's bent, right foot's internally rotated. And we're gonna lift and lower. And you're gonna notice this is so much harder. I don't know why. Five more. Five. Four. Last three. Two and one. Other side. Internal rotation. Lift. Two. Five, five more. Last three, two, and one. Okay, we're going to do dead bug, but today we're going to do it with straight legs if you want. It's a harder version. So dead bug is opposite arm, opposite leg, but today we're going to come and we're going to keep it, um, so it, I don't know how to explain it. So we're going to keep it more of this long, long, hold on. No, maybe it's not. Oh, it's like this. Okay. So we're going to be here instead of the bent knee. But if you want to bend the knees, go ahead. So it's opposite arm, opposite leg, one. And two. Four, five, halfway, five more each side, five, four, last three each side, two, And last one, each side. Okay, stay down on the ground. Hydrate if you have it close to you. Sorry, my phone's going off crazy, so and my kids are out. Okay. Sorry, I had a veggie loaf in that was going to burn. So I wanted to get back to that. We're going to go down to our bellies now, okay? And we're going to work with our hands here, lifting one leg. 
Now we were looking for the range of motion, so we are gonna rock back and forth with it. It doesn't have to be just here. I wanna see the big lift. So engage that glute, rock back to the other side. You can rest your head. <sighs> You know who just contacted me, Kay? Mm -hmm. Stimulus. Why? Because it's a month up. Do we have to give everything back? No, we gotta pay again. Oh, it's gonna make me. He was smart. <sighs> Four more each side. Four. Three. Last two. And one. We're going to go right back over to our backs. We're going to make some snow angels, just like you were a kid and you were in the snow with your big parka, okay? <laughs> I think I'm going to need a little room, so I'm going to move over. Hopefully, you'll be able to see me kick some weights out of the way. And we're literally going to make snow angels. Okay, here we go. Oh, ow. In between the carpet burn. Oh, one of these days, what I didn't get back after my hip surgery was this hip lateral movement, just not even in the bank. One more. And now let's hold here. Let's get those legs open. We're in star pose. Let's take the whole body and flex it. Cause it tension. Cause it tension. Keep it here. Oh. Bob just popped and release. Woo. Okay, I'm gonna bring my legs in just a little bit closer. We're gonna go opposite arm, opposite leg, just like we were standing almost, okay? Legs are still open. Two more each side. Last one. Let's go back to all fours. We're gonna set up for cat, cow, and child's pose. So we've got cow, shoulders come back, head rises. Cat, pushing away from the earth, rounding the spine, pushing back into child's pose. So then we're back in, two. And three. Five more. Last three. And last one. Let's come up to standing. I'm gonna get my drink.
<clears throat> we're going to put the arms in um, goal post here. Okay, we're going to do almost the same as cat cow, but standing. So we're going to bring those together, tuck the chin, open up wide, head comes back. Two. You can exaggerate it. Three. And four, five. And six, four more, four, and three, two, And one. Okay. You know those eagle arms? Let's put the arms out. Let's go right arm under and bring them around. So we're here now. Bring the shoulders down so don't let them stay up here. And then just raise the front arms. Shoulders stay down. Don't let them creep with you. You're getting a nice pull in the back body, rear delts. Little bit of the trap. Okay, open it up. Left arm under this time. Here we go. Woo! Listen to that cracking. Remember, bring the shoulders down. Now let the arms raise. Holding. And release. We're going to go over to the wall. I'm going to get us in a better spot. We're going to do some stretching up on the wall today. So first we're going to get our decorations out of the way. Then we're going to walk this hand up. And as it gets tighter, move in with it as much as feels comfortable. To make it a bigger stretch, you can cross that right foot over the left and lean in. So we're stretching the whole right side body here, lat, under the arm. Bob's crying a little. Okay, bring that arm halfway down here on the edge of the wall, and we're going to push in, so we're getting that peck. You can do it over there. No, look. I'm going to open the door. And now bring that hand on the wall behind you and turn away. Okay, the other side, let's walk those fingers up the wall. Moving in as it gets harder. Cross that left foot on top of the right. Lean in. Ooh, there's that. Then I'm going to get that arm in the door over here for the chest. And now I'll bring that arm down, turn away. Can you move the arm up a little? Okay, so those those stretches. What I wanted to do is give a little more movement now. Um, bigger, bigger arms, bigger legs. 
So let's bring, got those legs open a little bit here, right arm, right leg, and two. So that knee is coming up, circling, just like the arm. Four. Nothing from the guy? Six, four more. Four. Three, crack, crack. Two. And one, right to the other side. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Five more. Five. Four. Last three. Two. And one. Okay, open the legs even just a little bit wider here. Okay, so we're going to come down into that squat. Arms up and down. Up, down. Three. And four. Five. And six. Six more. Big move. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Okay, now we're gonna come out a different angle. Legs are closer together for squats. Reach all the way forward into the squat. Bring it back, okay? Two, I gotta check our dinner. Two, reach forward, pull. Bob, what number are we on? Six. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Don't 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 laugh at him. What number? Thirty. Eleven. <laughs> I'm twelve. I know this trick. I'm a trainer. Three more. Three. Two. Really reaching. And one. Okay, cross that right leg over the left. Interlace those fingers. We're going to lean over to the left, opening that whole right side body. Holding. So if that's too much, you can be here. I know some of you can't do this without some pain. Come on up, other side. We're going to do the same thing with the other leg cross so you can feel the difference. Okay, let's trade sides. So we're going to put that left leg in front. And we're going to open up that left side body first. We were just there. Coming up, other side. Oh, right there. And back up. A couple more things. We're almost done, okay? And we're putting the stretching in. So when we're done, we'll just be done more or less. We're going to make this squat. So we're down low. We're reaching back, bringing it back. Two. We're not going to do the 15, okay? So we're just reaching back. Nice long stride. Three more. Three. Two. And one, come up, shake it out, get sticky. <laughs> okay, get that nice low squat again. Here we go, step it back. One, two, three, four, halfway, four, whoop, almost fell over, three, two, and one. Okay, wide legs. We're gonna get in for that forward. Walk those hands to the right. Making those big reaches. How far can we get those hands outside the right leg? And walk it through the middle. 
Over to the left, reaching out past that left foot. Walk those hands back to center. Come on up. We're going to take that right arm across the front. Shoulders going to come down. Head to the other side. Bye, Kay. You going to work out now? And the other side. Let's see, tomorrow we've got Swiss ball at eight. Um, and we're gonna use some weights. So it'll be a vigorous workout. It's at eight tomorrow because I have to go to St. Mary's and videotape with Mr. Mark. Um, let's see. And then at five, I think we have chair yoga. I wanna say chair yoga. I know Kennedy's been dying to do some yoga and we're, we're all feeling it. Today we tried, um, Hip hop yoga, so it's kind of like that butai yoga. Um, very vigorous, very fun. Bob liked it a lot. It was definitely like I equated to another workout, not so much so much yoga for me. Um, but yeah, it was definitely a workout. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a beautiful evening. We are watching a movie tonight and just relaxing. Have a great one. I'll see you guys tomorrow.